Hi, this is a very short tutorial for those who are new to programming. Even for advanced uh, practitioners as well, you might enjoy this. Uh, I think you will enjoy this tutorial. This, uh, the component used is just a text box, two text box, radio buttons, and uh, a group box. So I have four group box there. I also use uh, check boxes. Okay. The whole idea is just uh, if I click on this uh, enhanced text uh, text box one, which is right there, then you'll be able to enhance the component, uh, the data in here actually. So I make it bold, underline, and so on. And you can even increase the font size as well. All right. So that's the whole idea. And change the bag color. Okay. See. If you decide to enhance text box too, exactly the same thing happens. You can see that. Okay. The same thing happens to text box too. So which is very handy. I think it's very handy for anyone who is new to programming. Okay, this is start and now uh, it's very good. So what I'm going to do right now is uh, I'll take you to Visual Basic Development Environment and just uh, show you how this is done. It's a very it shouldn't take too long. So let's go to Visual Basic Development Environment right now and get this uh, tutorial going. Now we are in uh, Visual Basic, so what, I'm, what I'll be doing now is uh, actually let me just uh, enlarge my form size and uh, change the back color. Let's change the back color of my form size to something. Uh, let's go to Customize. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's uh, I think that's a little bit light. Let's go for something. Yeah, I think that's about right. Okay, so the next stage would be to to add some uh, component to it. So I need uh, two text boxes. I need uh, two text boxes. We are the text box. And now my first one and the second one. So, I also need four group box. So, there they are. So, I'm going to just speed this up now. I have another one here and one here. So, let me just speed up the process. And here is my up to date uh, form design with uh, group box. Radio buttons, group box, option box, and so on. So this is my text enhancer. Okay, so the next stage would be to start uh, programming. Okay, so that uh, I'm able to enhance the text within this text box. So let's double click on the uh, the first part of it and now uh, we can just use a selection statement in there as uh, if uh, check text box one dot uh, the checked if that's true Then run my text box one dot four color equals equals uh, color dot red. Okay, so I'm just uh, 
I will now use L save. I might as well just copy this across. L save. And just enable it with the force. Enable. Have a force. So, all I just said here is uh, if this checkbox right here is checked, the content within the text box should become red. But uh, if this is not checked, nothing should happen. Nothing should happen to. The text box so I'll be unchecked I have a force changes to force yeah so if I, if I just sort of like run this program this piece of code you see what will happen so if I check this I can always change the color and you see that so that's all I've done so far. So let's go back to code view and get the rest sorted. So the next stage is I might as well just copy this and change it for the component 2, which is the text box 2. Put that right there and just change the name of these two. two. See, it's a very easy code, very easy way to program for new beginners. Okay, if you're new to coding, that's very easy. All right, so that's that done. So what I would do now is just speed up the rest part of it. It's exactly the same thing. The only different is change this yellow, change the red to yellow. So if I double click on that, I can copy this across and just change this to yellow. And exactly the same thing here. Okay, guys, and you see that? So I'm just going to speed it up now. So the first part of the code is completed. Okay. So the next part of it is say uh, the style. Let's go to the style. In the case of the style, I'm just going to declare a variable. Let's declare a variable bold. Let's make that new. Right. Let's say new font. Okay. And uh, that'll be my text box one dot font. And that'll be for the font st style. Bold. Okay. So the next thing is uh, let's use an if statement. If my check check text box one dot checked equals true and check bold. Check equals true. Then whatever is in a text box one dot font, make that bold. That's it. And if so, I will repeat the same thing for text box two using exactly the same variable so I might as well just copy that across paste that there chain this to checkbox 2 and this yeah that's correct to that and just change this to text box 2 so that is for the bold so I will now just copy go back there 
repeat the same thing for underline now make the font size dot underline this underline you see you can change it italic regular strike online yeah and just change this to so I change my variable right here my variable is called underline and change this to underline so that is that sorted change this to underline done well so far folks this is what I've done so if I click on the enhanced text box let's click on a enhanced text box too as well and you select bold you can see the text content in here becomes bold as well if you select underline you see that okay guys so it's very easy to program this so the next stage now we need just uh, complete this other part of the code I will copy the code and uh, upload it onto my share drive where you guys can always click click on the link in the description area and you'll be able to do something very similar to this so let's just uh, finish up this part this uh, group box one and two okay so guys this is how the second part of the code look like you can see that it's very very easy so and that is for the back color you see that so as the final product now so I will now copy all of this code and uh, save it so that you can you can go through it and develop something similar or if not much better so let's run this program and just see how it works so far so it is the final product I'm just going to check those two as a back color Underline work as suspected, bold work as suspected, okay, and italic work as suspected. Change the, the font, okay, guys. You can develop something very similar. And uh, do subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day.